Hi. On my channel, many people have asked me how to configure a, an IP camera directly without the use of an NVR. This means that you have an IP camera that you've plugged into your network, probably with a power over Ethernet switch, or you gave your IP camera in a, its own power source. But the point is, is that the IP camera has no management. It's just directly connected to your network. And how do you set this up? All right, the first thing is, it depends which camera you've got. Now, I'm just going to use do this example with the Dahua. I'll do another one with the Hikvision, as per popular cameras. And I just use this website called iSpyConnect.com, and it gives you the default IP addresses of very popular cameras. So, for example, here is a Dahua uh, camera, and there's the default IP address, 192.168.1.20, and the camera username and password. Now, most of the Dahua IP cameras use this default username and password, and that is the IP address 192.168.1.20. Now, why is that important? It's important because once you have this camera out of the box, it has that IP address. And when you plug it into your network, it's going to want to register itself on your network with that IP address. Now, if your computer is not on the same range, you will not be able to see that camera. For example, okay, my uh, PC is on a network and there is a router, so DHCP is involved here, which is providing me an IP address. So in order to find my IP address, I just go to here and I say CMD and then I will just, okay, uh, just for explanation purposes, let me use the correct command prompt window. Again, I can just say IP config and it'll give me the IP address of my PC right now and it's 1000. 20. Now, if I'm trying to connect to a camera that has a default IP address of, where was it? Somewhere here. Um, 192.168.1.20, and we're on the same network, we will not see each other. I will not be able to log into that, into that uh, IP camera. Even if I take that IP address and I shove it into the Explorer, I won't get it because on a different network. So what I'd have to do is change my IP address manually, 168.192. Dot, what was it? Um, dot, uh, dot one, dot 20, I think. And let's just check that I've got the, the correct IP address now. Yes, 192.168. And then I'd have to choose a gateway as well that is in that same range. It doesn't really matter what you put here as long as it's in the same range. Okay, so I'll just put one and then the subnet mask. So the important thing here is that once I press the OK button, it will reconfigure my Ethernet card, the IP stack, to this IP address. And then what will happen is I'll need to restart... Internet Explorer, otherwise it won't work. I'll have to restart Internet Explorer, and then when I launch it again, it will then now take the IP address range of the 192.168.1.20. Then I could plug put that in straight away. Now, my cameras have already been changed, and the IP address that I am using in my network is on the 10 range. So, for example, my a camera that I know on my network is 10.0.0.60. So let's just assume that this was the 192.168.1.20. What happens is when you get the, once you finally got the correct IP address of your IP camera, then you'll need to put the username and password. It is admin admin for the Dahua cameras. And if you're using the Hikvision, I think it's admin and uh, six eights, eight, 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 something like that. Anyway, I'm not 100% sure, but I will do the, the video on that. But here is the Dahua one, and you can see it's admin and admin. And there we go, and then I log in. Then it asks me to change the password. I'm not interested in doing that right now. And there is the direct view of this camera. This means that I have now connected to this camera using a web login without an NVR. There is no NVR used in this setup. Now, when I go to the setup tab on the camera's interface, remember now I'm on the camera's interface. This is the software that is loaded on the camera. If you go and unplug this camera, you'll disconnect me from this session. All right, Internet Explorer has some rendering issues here. 
you've got the brightness uh, and all these settings here, hue and contrast and that. But what's important is the network settings. Now, at this place, you are able to change your IP address. You bought this camera, it had a 192.168.1.20 default IP address. Maybe you don't like that IP address. Maybe on your local network, you're like me. You like to change the default IP address. Maybe you're using your router's default IP address range. Maybe it is 168.1.1. whatever. So the point is, is that you might find that the camera you buy is not at a IP address, you're not within an IP address range that you're happy with. And at this point is where you will change it. For example, this used to say 192.168.1.20. And my Ethernet card was set, as I've just showed you. I had to manually set it in order to log into this camera. Now I then put in 10.0.0.60 and then I press the save button. The minute I do that, I will no longer be able to log into this camera if I was on the 192.168.1 range. Okay, so in my case, I've already done that. I've already changed the IP address. So let's just recap because I know this is confusing. You get a camera. It's got a default IP address. In order to connect to that IP address, you need to manually change your IP address range to be your IP address to be within the same range. If you cannot find your IP address because you are on a, uh, your router is connected to your network and it's performing a DHCP function, means it's providing you IP addresses based on the um, DHCP protocol. Then you say IP config, you go to command prompt, you say IP config, there I've done the IP config, and it will give you your IP address. And I can see that I'm 10.0.0.22, and if I'm trying to connect to a 168 camera, it's impossible. So I would have to manually change this. Oh, I'll just actually do it. Okay, let's do it. 192.168.1. dot, And I'm going to just choose a random number there. And let's just put a subnet mask of 168.1. And then a default gateway of 1. Now, look at this. I'm going to accept that. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is I am now going to say IP config and you will now see that look at my okay it hasn't uh, taken effect yet let's just wait all right now it's taken effect IP config okay it still hasn't taken effect yet there it is okay so now it says Ethernet adapter can you see there it's not changed it 192.168.1. 222 because I manually added that address. Now, if I wanted to connect to my default uh, Dahua camera, then I would say go and it would connect. But remember that I've already changed the default IP address, so it will no longer connect because I, I don't have a defaulted IP camera with me at the moment. So then you would say connect and then it would have taken you to the setup screen and you would put admin admin and then here it would have said 192.168.1.20 and you would change it to the IP address range which you really want. So in my case I changed it 10 0, 0, 0, 60. Then what you would go do is you'd go back here and you would then put this back. You'd say obtain IP address automatically or put it back to the IP address that you had seen there. Maybe in your network you had manual IP addresses. Maybe it was uh, manual. All right, so I'm just going to say automatic. I'm going to let the router do the rest for me. Now I'll put it back. Takes a bit of time just to kick in. Let's do the IP config. And you can see it's now given me my IP address back 22. Uh, the reason why it gave me the exact same one is there's a lease. You can set the lease on the router that allows you uh, a certain amount of minutes hours or days that it will reserve the IP address for you. So the router knows that my computer is still using this IP address because it's still the lease is still active. Okay, if you don't understand that, don't worry about that. All right, so how do you configure this camera? All right, so now you would have to restart Internet Explorer, put in the IP address, you would log in, and now you would be sitting on the camera's interface. That's how what I did in the beginning of this video. Now you could change all the things you want. Maybe if there's a SD card on your 
on your uh, uh, camera then you could uh, set some of the recording sessions you can what else can you do here you can change the conditions you can uh, as I said you can change the the uh, frame rate the resolution the bit rate I like to use a variable bit rate you can change the quality and so forth now there is something called a mainstream and a substream just to explain that the mainstream is what you view when you log into the camera usually using a computer or the NVR if an NVR was accessing the camera the substream is say you use your cell phone you don't want it to be um, uh, sending you the resolution of a frame rate of a bit rate of 4096 it's too it's too high for most people's cell phones and 3G networks yes on a LAN it's fine but on a 3G network you'll probably downscale it so this is how you set the remote view settings because that comes to you on the substream okay now just some uh, additional tips say you want to do this and you want to use some software to help you I use the smart con the, sorry the config tool what it is it's a software from the Hua, and what it allows you to do is it allows you to scan your network to see all the IP cameras which you can then adjust manually one by one without having to log in restart blah 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 so it actually finds the cameras for you if you did not know your IP addresses remember this is for an installation where you don't have an NVR yes if I had an NVR it would find these cameras for me for example just to, to demonstrate I do have an NVR on this network and I can just show you with the NVR it can also locate the cameras for me uh, let's just put in a password here Ah, uh, come on, Dahua. Right, so there we go. Settings, remote, device search. So what it's going to do is it should populate all the cameras that the NVR has located on the network. So it's easy to do it if you've got an NVR. But remember, the point of this video is for the user who doesn't have an NVR. They are, they just have cameras connected to a power over Ethernet switch, and that's it. So I would recommend using the config tool to save a bit of time. For example, you will how you use this. I do have a video on this, by the way. You will search by the IP domain. So if you're looking for cameras in the 192 range, you'll put your 192, 168, whatever, whatever. But in my case, I'm, I'm all my cameras are on the 10 range. So I've got 10, 0, 0, 1. And then I'm, so I'm saying start looking for cameras with IP address 10, 0, 0, 1. Right. And look at all these cameras. It's fine. Now, we did look at camera 60, uh, IP address 60, and just to prove it to you, there is this the, the video of that camera. And you can also change the settings of that camera using this config tool from Dehua. So, they, it also allows you another way, actually a bit quicker. And you can also set the resolution, the encoding, and so forth, and also gives you the the information about the camera so this is another way he has the brightness contrast hue there are a lot of problems with web browsers and logging into cameras with the latest Mozilla update it no longer works I've contacted Dohua and they, their attitude is uh, just use an older version of Mozilla and for me that is not an option so that's why the config tool also provides you connectivity to the camera should your web browser not work for example Google Chrome is, is a waste of time trying to configure cameras with Google Chrome Internet Explorer still works you have just got to um, do the security settings I do have a video for that as well okay so that is how you can manipulate and connect to your cameras that are directly connected to your network without having the NVR I hope this video was was explanatory and it helps you if you have any questions you can post them if you like the video thumbs up thanks